today I want to share with you a great um, and very effective recipe uh, to fight acne. My daughter very often were you know, kind of bored about the, the little spots they had and uh, so I found a solution for them and it's uh, some very natural patches made with rice paper. You can find that in a food store. Uh, some you know organic food store for example it's just rice um, it's shaped sometimes uh, circle or, or square but anyway you will see you, you can use it as a patch so I use some rose water which is kind of heightening uh, the blood flow in your skin which is great because it will help to eliminate all the, the toxins in, inside your skin so that's great and um, so I, we will heat it a little bit so let's pour, it is approximately half of this bottle, which is, let's say, three and a half to four uh, ounces. Let's say half of, um, of that, uh, that bottle. Le then let's heat it. Uh, it needs to be, the best way to check how, if the temperature is good, is to keep your finger inside of your, um, of your floral water. And it has to be still comfortable but hot, so uh, it will open your pores and uh, it will help to to heal your your wounds and uh, and all your little spots. Okay, it's almost done. It's pretty fast. And then we will use some essential oils, which are purifying and antiseptics, and so that's great. Okay, here we are. It's extremely fast. Don't use boiling water, you will burn yourself. That's really something. Be very careful. Okay, so let's pour that in your bowl. Then we will use, uh, this one is the tea tree oil. Let's put one drop. Never use that pure. It is extremely strong. So tea tree is an antiseptic. It's helping to, to, to heal your skin and to treat. Okay, just one drop. Whoopsie. Uh, then one drop of oregano essential oil. It's even stronger than the tea tree. So never use it. Um, never use it pure, neither. And it's purifying. It's, an, it's very strong, it's extremely effective. So let, just use one drop in your liquid, in your floral water, Oops. and then another wonderful um, product you can buy, you will use it anyway at home, it's um, a grapefruit seed extract. It is full of vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, so it's great for your skin really and it's also an antiseptic so it's an antioxidant and anti um, an antiseptic let's put five drops two three four five and then because we want um, to thicken the, your your floral water and to allow the, the the liquid and all the substances to diffuse very slowly we will put some arrowroot, and anyway, arrowroot is wonderful for, for your skin. So let's put three very large, and two and three uh, tablespoon. Okay, and now use the fork to mix everything together. It's very easily um, mixed. And it's a little bit thick, and it's it's looking now a little bit like uh, like milk. It's very it's creamy. Okay, and then you will prepare your patches with your um, rice paper, and you cut little patches depending on how much spots you have on your face. You will cut the number of patches you need. Uh, for example, you can use one for, for your nose, let's say, oops, I will show you, oops, that one, don't get yourself, okay, then you can so let it soak inside of your liquid and it will turn to be very soft 
and, uh, and smooth and we, it will be able to really stay on your skin and to expose the, the, the shape of your, of your face so that will be great okay it's almost almost done it has to be soft and rice it's excellent for uh, your skin too because it's uh, it's diffusing when the, the rice is raw like it is here um, it's diffusing um, is diffusing your uh, some natural substances like allantoin which is a natural anti-inflammatory so everything put together in this recipe will really help to heal and to treat your acne. So here it is. You have now a very soft um, rice paper which is soaked with all the, the substances, all the ingredients I gave you. And then you can put it on your skin. It can be uh, on your cheek, uh, on your... Um, everywhere you have some spots except around your eyes and two on, on your lips. But anyway, you never have acne on your lips, so that's fine. And you can leave it for, let's say, 10 minutes. Uh, you can relax, listen to your, for, for some music you like, your favorite music. And once it's drying and it's getting a little bit harder, then you can, um, you can take it off. Exactly like that. I'm not waiting for the 10 minutes. Uh, and you rinse your face and you make, use the, the usual product you are using. Okay, so now we have this leftover of liquid. Don't throw it away. Recycle. And you can use it as a tonic lotion. Uh, now that you have your bottle, use a funnel so you can pour all your, um, all, all your liquid inside the, the, the little, little bottle. Here it is, almost done. Let's see, not too fast. Okay, and close the bottle and you keep it in the fridge. Uh, every morning you can use it with a cotton pad and you can clean your, your face with that and rinse. Don't forget to rinse, it's pretty strong. And don't forget to shake it because you have the arrowroot, which is you know on the bottom of your of your bottle, and allow the arrowroot to get everywhere in the liquid. And um, because it's very effective for your um, for your skin too. So here it is with the recipe, and that's a you know two in one because you you use it as patches, very funny way to use, and then as a toner. So enjoy the recipe and share it if you like it. Bye bye, see you soon.